smell that? It is like the stench of sulfur dioxide after that volcano destroyed my parents' village. I can't smell. My nostrils are painted on. As are your eyes. But that does not stop you from reading those filthy magazines. What are you doing under there? Nothing. Leave me alone. You know, most of the planks in those magazines have termites. <laughs> <laughs> what in the name of Vishnu's many mittens is going on? Mark that one as burrito. Burrito, check. We're gathering bum sneezes. Vernon says we can fill a balloon and float out of here. He's real talented. His old milk one sounded like a mule choking on a kazoo. Nah, it sounded like pouring a bag of apples down wood stairs. That was the goat one. Nah, uh it wasn't. Yeah, uh it was. Nah, uh Yeah, huh? Nah, uh Yeah, huh? I need to burn some incense fast. It's rotting my brain. No! I hope the fart cloud remembers to send help. Hello, can you go? Well, now you know. The family drive to Canoes Dive. The next stop, Street Drop, Little Town. <laughs> There's no escape, that's bad luck, so settle in. You're stuck! In Crash Canyon. Scream and yell and have a spasm makes no difference to the castle. Make the fact! You live in a crash! Crash Canyon. One, fifty-two. Pretty good, huh? The secret is. I imagine the acorn is you. And I imagine it's a grenade that's going to blow up soon. <gasps> You're going to lose a leg. So? I'll just marry a beetle and get rich. That's how it works. Hey, I wonder what's going on. I bet it's something stupid. Everything is. <laughs> Are you wearing perfume? Yeah, it's my mom's eau de massacre. 20 people die for every bottle. The label even lists their names. Wow, Jabari sure is a common name. Was a common name. So anyway, what's with the lineup? It's sign-up day for the Miss Crash Canyon pageant. Did I just hear the words Miss, Crash, Canyon, and pageant? Is this a, <laughs> a beauty pageant? Yeah, it happens every year. Or 12 months, whichever comes first. OMG, an honest-to-goodness beauty contest. I can finally fulfill my dying wish. But you're not dying. And I know, because that's what I wished for. And that's how I found out Santa isn't real and wishing wells don't work. What would you say you're dying when you're not? You sound just like my high school principal. <sighs> Thank you to everyone at the Dreams Do Come True Foundation. <sighs> The Dreams Do Come True Foundation is total BS. I texted them like three times to say it was my dream to be homecoming queen. I never said anything about first runner up. You know what she should have wished for? Getting better. What do you mean, what's my talent? It's the same as every year. You need to lose 20 pounds. You're dumb as a post. You look like your mother was a drunk. Hey, where's that Indian fellow with the talking totem pole? Okay, so I'm listing your talent as telling people what's wrong with them. And I'm listing your talent as stating the obvious, which is another thing wrong with you. Believe me, there's more, but I'm saving it for my act. I'm here to enter the pageant. Super. Now I hope you brought... My size for the winter sash? I take a four. I know, perfectly petite body, right? I was going to say a parent's signature. You'll need it because you're under 18. All the other girls have them. Hello, ladies! I'm here to announce the opening of my kissing booth. I'm handing out flyers hoping word spreads like this heat rash. I'll be right back. Start polishing the crown. There is a crown, right? Oh, yes! A really shiny one! Great! I wasn't expecting that. Sign this! It's the best thing ever! Vernon's kissing booth. It's ecstasy for your mooth. 
Oh, honey, we need to talk about the birds and the bees and how kissing your uncle is wrong even in their world. Ew, gross. Wrong flyer. Miss Crash Canyon? Can you believe it? A beauty pageant here in God's toilet! You will not believe what is happening here. A beauty pageant. I oh, know! No. Here, here in, in God's, God's toilet. toilet! Wait, you're not excited. I haven't been less excited since my last birthday. So, this is the famous Cirque du Nuit. Yes! The performers walk tight ropes in complete darkness. It's amazing! Do I look amazed? The light! She blinds it! <laughs> Double back! Well, I'm excited. I want to enter. No daughter of mine is about to be judged solely on her physical appearance. It's demeaning to women, like Mel Gibson. Mom, it's not just about that. It even says so in the brochure. Empowers women, builds self-confidence, and will leave your mouth tasting like a mall food court. Ugh, how many flyers did Vernon give out? Anyway, this whole thing is taking too long. What if you just sign it already? Roxy, I think what your mother is trying to say is that beauty pageants are shallow. We'd like you to think about your inner beauty. Inner beauty is just something fat people made up so they wouldn't feel bad about how fat they are. I don't care. You're not entering. I just want to be told I'm prettier than everyone else. Is that so bad? He's probably here for Jake. Your talent is chewing people's faces in wood? Uh-huh. Look, I made you. That doesn't look like me. It could, if you let me adjust you. My entry form. Terrific. Now, the show is in three days. That's two more sleeps. And you'll need Beauty to... Beauty pageants are unfair and hurtful. They objectify women. This is what I think of your sexist competition. Mm -hmm. oh, hey, something smells sexy. Good. A chance to burn a book. Take that, grapes of wrath. That'll teach you to glamorize farming. Oh, now it just smells educational. Vernon is out of here. Wait, if you're so against the pageant, why did you allow your daughter to enter? I didn't. Sure you did. It's pretty how you sign your name with a heart over the eye. Oh, this isn't my signature. This is. Mom, I can explain. <laughs> believe you defied me and forged my signature and defied me and forged my signature only because you wouldn't do what I wanted you to do so in that sense you kind of did this to yourself I don't want you in that pageant because I want my daughter to have a sense of self-respect I don't want self-respect when was the last time you heard a boy say damn do you see that girl's self-respect I want a sash and a tiara something other people can see well too bad you're not going to be Miss Anything, and nobody else is either. Thanks to me, the pageant is cancelled. What? I think you were joking, but that would be impossible, because you hate fun! I know she's mad, but I bet underneath it all, she's kind of proud of me. Good for you, honey. Now, how are you with, um, possessed dominoes? So, sadly, after the events of this afternoon, there won't be any Miss Crash Canyon pageant this year. So that's it? A canyon tradition gone? Just like that? What's next? Are we also gonna cancel the snail derby? Or, 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 or pollen day? Or, or heaven forbid, astronaut month? Madam, this is all your fault. You're right, I did end your male chauvinistic parade. And if you toilet seat lifters miss the pageant so bad, why don't you put the shoe on the other foot? The foot of justice! Why don't you hold a Mr. Crash Canyon pageant? That's not the worst idea. We do have some handsome men here, like my Royce. This is some of his hair. Isn't it luxurious? Maybe we should have a pageant of the men. I don't just serve cheesecake. I like to look and whistle at it too, you know. Wait, this is new business. We were talking about old business. I'm going to allow it though. <laughs> well, I feel like such a rebel. All in favor of a Mr. Crash Canyon pageant, raise their hands. This is my chance to finally beat you at something. <laughs> okay, best 13 out of 25. So it's decided then. We're having a Mr. Crash Canyon pageant. <gasps> Isn't change exciting? <laughs> the thrill of social change is coursing through my...
my veins! I'm like a tall female Che Guevara! Who doesn't like cats? Che who? What I've learned about this guy in history class? No, he's not white. He was a Marxist intellectual who played a part in the Cuban Revolution. And back in the 90s, your mother was a bit of a protester herself. Y2K! Not okay! <laughs> What do you have against cell phones? Well, we were a pager family. It's just how we were raised. And now, Jake, I'd like to train you to be the next rebel in the family. You can learn at the master's feet. Sorry, Mom, not interested. I got things to do. People to fleece. I'll pay you 20 T's. Deal! Fleecing done. Exercise mis te ominous and spiritus. Mom, do I really have to enter this? Of course! How else can I prove my son's the dreamiest man boy in town? Hmm, this gives me an idea. And apparently a sore chin. <laughs> Hey, Roxy, want to hear some exciting news? Oh my god, you're divorcing mom and marrying a lady who wears yoga pants and lets her kids do fun things? No, not even close. I signed up for the Mr. Crash Canyon pageant. Ew, why? To win, of course. Norm Wendell doesn't do things to lose. Except dieting. Has to lose weight. Uh, anyway, I'd like you to be my coach. Nah, I'm done with this stupid pageant. It'd really bug your mother. Deal. Sorry about the chin thing. It might be genetic. Don't you see, Bjorn? By unionizing, you'll join other butlers in a fight for fair compensation and dignified costumes. Can I take your silence as a yes? Can I take that silence as a yes to my previous question? Mom, forget it already. Bjorn's the only butler in the canyon. He doesn't get paid, and there's no such thing as a dignified costume. Logic is the enemy of protest, Jake. Remember that. You have to face facts. There's nothing to protest down here. You can't give up. Don't you want to make a difference? Take down the man, the rich fat cats. Listen, if things go the way I hope, I'm going to be the man. The fattest, richest cat since Garfield. I mean, as bad as those movies were, they brought in the jingle. A stick. Two sticks. Two sticks and a finger. <sighs> Why don't we take a little break? Good idea. I was getting a cramp, and you need to be cramp-free to pull off two sticks and two fingers. Dad, the pageant is tonight, and we still haven't found a talent for you to do. We've tried everything. Don't take this the wrong way, Dad, but you suck at everything, and the only thing worse than not being the pageant is coaching the crappiest entrant that is. I quit. Roxy, come on, let's talk about this. Woo! Crimp! If you're thinking about drowning yourself, I'd be totally happy to help. I saw a big rock back there that you could tie yourself to. At least if I did, at my funeral, people would comment how pretty I look. Yeah, no guarantee. You'll be bloated. Fish bites on your face. Trying to be a hot corpse is a risky game. Welcome to the first annual Mr. Crash Canyon pageant. And now, please welcome our host for the evening, one-time recording studio renter, Sid Butane. Thank you and welcome. Not your welcome, because I said thanks to you, you didn't say it to me. And if you did, I didn't hear you, okay? My hearing's off from loud music and trying to smuggle a scorpion into Honduras in my ears. Hey, that reminds me. Wait. No, it doesn't. So, instead of stopping offshore drilling, I'd breed tougher dolphins. Thank you. 
He's held his breath for over 20 minutes. That's really something. Ah, you see? My butter is fully churned. Oh, I don't think he's breathing. Now I'm gonna saw butts in two. Yeah, then we'll be triplets. What a collection of idiots. This competition is over as soon as you take the stage. You'll dazzle them with how dazzling you are. Uh, maybe, but isn't it a bit presumptuous of me to be wearing this? Nonsense. Confidence is king. <gasps> Look, everyone. Someone new has fallen into the canyon. I was hiking and slipped. I didn't know anyone else was down here. Look! We've never seen that person before! This is not a new person! It is Roxy Wendell, dressed as a man! Come on! Am I the only one who sees this? Fine! Believe what you want! I am going back to my place to do something Japanese! I think I did my magic trick wrong. <coughs> oh! <laughs> I'm coughing up red juice! What's your name? Rox... Tun. You stuttered. Is that real or put on for comedic effect? Comedic effect? I find it b, -b breaks the ice. <laughs> 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 Except for that time I landed in a stutterer's convention. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a contest? I love contests. Can I enter? I don't see why not. But then again, I try to see why. Not why not. So... Why not? <laughs> I have a question. I find the timing of your arrival on the eve of Mr. Crash Canyon to be very suspicious. That's not a question. Ooh. Good point. He can really identify what's a question and what isn't. That could be his talent. My Royce is about to win this contest, and no stranger come lately is going to change that. I guess that's up to the judges. <laughs> He knows rules and makes sense, too. The whole package. Sorry about falling on you, dude. I was aiming for your mother. <laughs> no problem. So, what's your talent? Uh, ballet, I guess. Cool. Really? Cool? Any dude who has enough confidence to dance ballet is cool in my books. Instead of women being objectified, I just switched it to men. Jake is right. I haven't made any difference at all. May as well join the other sheep. Roxy! Listen, Wendell, you can do four fingers. The time for shark is over. You get out there and you finger like you've never fingered before. Norm! Doing belly dancing and drag. What kind of twisted contest has this turned into? It's nothing twisted. She wants to win the pageant, like I do. Now, if you'll excuse me, cramps don't control you. You control the cramps. Woo! We're almost at the best part of the competition, where one person wins and everyone else loses. Good luck. Thanks. Hey, since we're just two dudes hanging out. What do you think of Roxy Wendell? Oh, Roxy? She's cute, but... But what? But she's even better once you get to know her. <gasps> Unmouth my son, sir! You filthy animal! Daring to touch Royce's beautiful, supple lips! OMG, relax! It's me! Roxy! <gasps> Roxton was really Roxy? Maybe I'm someone else, too. Oh, big shock. Okay, then, here's another secret revealed. I am Japanese. <gasps> I can't believe we lost the war to you people. The Wendell girl kissed my son. <gasps> That's even worse. Oh, you're a girl. 
So it's totally normal that I like that then. I thought this was another thing like that sleepover at Jim's house. Royce, remember what that expensive therapist suppressed? That never happened. I demand a disqualification for her. Him. Her. Sorry, Roxy, but you are disqualified. I liked your dancing, though. Sometimes a compliment at the end helps people deal with sad news. <laughs> Roxton? <gasps> Mom! You're mad, I bet. I defied you again, even after the first defiance. Oh, honey, I'm not mad. I'm proud. You did something unusual to get what you wanted. You're like Gloria Steinem, or that guy who would take off his pants at the candy store so he could steal chocolate bars when people ran away screaming. And I learned that it does matter who I am inside. A boy who thought I was a man said so. Thanks, Mom. You were right. Mwah. Huh. I did make a difference. With you. My little girl's growing up to be a fine young man. <laughs>